What is going on viewers of YouTube Sunspot here and I am back you guys my review of the Star Wars the Black Series Darth Vader collectible figure. Now what do we have here today? Well we have this really awesome Darth Vader that I found in my local Walgreens. No he is not an exclusive like that uh, transparent one that I never found god damn it. But he's practically a reissue of a figure we have gotten before such as the one in the giant box set that every Walmart in the country except mine is clearancing for like $13. Which is bullshit. Because it's still like $30 at my Walmart on clearance. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at this guy because he's my first highly posable Darth Vader figure. So, I'm pretty excited that I found this guy. But, before we take a look at him... Let's take a look at this box, which is nothing too fancy. Do have the um, artwork of Darth Vader right there, the uh, red background, and of course it says Star Wars Black Series up there. Um, up here is the uh, series number, so he is 43, and then it just says Darth Vader there. And the back, again, the 43 with the image, and if you would like, you can pause and read his biography, which is pretty simple. So. Go ahead and do that if you want. But now that I get to throw this away finally, let's take a look at the figure. And I do currently have his uh, lightsaber equipped. And I'm going to give you guys a little 360 here of him. So he looks nice. He's a very, very good looking figure. I absolutely love the paint finish on him the uh, the glossy black is what gets me and I really have only one major complaint and it's up here I'll get to that later it's really only because of mine I'm gonna shine some light on this guy a bit more for you guys to get the uh, whole picture here so a good looking figure again that paint job is just awesome now, let's move this wonderful turntable out of the way. And he just fell. This guy's a little bit hard to stand sometimes. Not gonna lie. But that's okay. So there he is. He's pretty, isn't he? I love him. Let's take a look at his lightsaber, which is pretty simple. But, oh my god, his legs are just kind of loose on mine. Anyway, here's his lightsaber. Nice transparent red. It's a little bit bent because he fell over and he was. This was against the floor all night. And uh, you can take at uh, take the uh, actual laser out and he can just be holding it like that, which is cool. And uh, he has some nice detail on this thing. Got a little bit of yellow, some silver, some black. So that's nice that they gave us that. Moving that aside. I want to take a look at the head sculpt, which is very, very important for a figure like this. So, and uh, this is going to be hard to film because, well, there we go. That's a bit better, right? Just get that light head on. He has a nice paint finish. I really like the glossy black and that kind of that red finish on his eyes. Those are nice. Nice details in the uh, the breather, which I'm going to try and focus on. So, little detail there. Some silver bits on the chin, as well as the nose, and the cheekbones are sculpted very well. Neck piece is a slightly different color than the rest of the helmet, more of a silver. And just a good paint finish. Now, what is going on here? Son of a bitch, right? That is just my copy of the figure, though. That sucks for me. Um, it could be worse. It could be on his face itself. But, uh, yeah, it's, it sucks. It really does. However, it's not like I'm going to be posing him back, you know, with the back facing me. I'm going to be posing him like this. So, at least that's something. Anyway, moving down on the rest of the figure, you could tell. He has a great paint finish on those inner workings of his chest. Got some uh, nice paint application there. Some silver, some green, some red. Especially down here, they were very careful. There's no bleeding, which is quite impressive. So, that's always good. So, no bleeding on an all-black figure is 
Well, that's nice. As you could tell, they used a, uh, a cloth for the uh, cape material, as well as the skirt, which is awesome. So you can uh, really pose him easier with this thing. So I'm glad they used cloth. And, oh, he really does look like Kylo Ren from the back. Huh. That's interesting. I never really, you know, I never really look at him like that. That's interesting. Okay. So there you go. I do like the finish on the kind of the pleathery uh, vibe they're trying to go for. Kind of this foam in a way also. So very realistic. Love all that paint application. His hands, his gloves. Very nice. And the same goes for the legs. So you can tell a lot of sculpting went into this. I love how they're kind of working his coils. So when he moves, it's not all perfect. It looks like it's actually moving with him. And uh, the boots are pretty simple. Nice, glossy black. Very reflective. There they are on the back. I like how they uh, kind of are snug right there. So are a bit folded. And uh, he does have ports at the bottom of his feet. So he could stand. And um, it's not that this guy is absolutely terrible at standing. But he could be a little bit better. And I think that's just because of my copy, honestly. Um, his ankles and his knees are just... Oh, they're kind of a mess in a way. So, one thing you can do, though, is once you put all this out, is you can... His uh, cape is able to cover him entirely. So, just like the films, you can... Give him this look. Which I think is just awesome. I think it looks wonderful like that. I don't think I'll pose it like that, but uh, I still think it's good that they give you that option. So I'm probably going to pose them, you know, something like this, a little bit more traditional. And just taking a look at the figure as a whole, I think it looks great. But anyway, if you guys are curious about his size, let us have our trusty tape measure here, test things out. And he is just under 7 inches. So a little bit taller, I think, than traditional uh, Star Wars Black Series figures because he is kind of a leader. So here he is next to a clone trooper. Obviously, he is a hair taller, as he should be. And then I also have my recent review, which is the uh, the AT-AT driver, whom of which he is also taller too. And then for a little bit of compare, uh, further comparison, let's move you right over here. Here he is next to a typical Marvel Legends figure, and he's still taller. So there you go with size. Looking pretty good with all of these figures, and he and Phoenix are going to be my next review. So definitely stay tuned on my channel if you are curious about uh, those figures, but come on guys. Yeah. And here he is next to my alpaca. As for articulation, I'm a little bit limited, but not that bad for a Darth Vader figure. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And let's start with his head. It can go up basically that much and go down very, very little, very limited, and can wobble slightly. But he can turn his head left to right, no problem. And you, you can make something of it, is the point. His cape does not have any wires in it, just for people who are curious. So, and I actually prefer that they're just straight cloth. They don't have any wires in them. His arms can fully rotate, as well as go out and in, no problem. Rotation at the elbow, and a more, actually, just about a 90 degree bend. Can go back like that if you want to break him. Does have a wrist rotation coat go out and in. He has a very, very, very small ab crunch, almost non-existent, but he can rotate as well as wobble. His legs, he could basically do the splits. He, they can move forward that much and very little back. He does have a thigh rotation, which is always nice. Very stiff on mine. It's actually easier on this one, so there you go with that. He does have a double-jointed knee which is very helpful, and it is covered by this shin guard, so that's always awesome. And his foot can go forward, back, and obviously he has your typical ankle pivot. So, this guy being a Darth Vader figure, with the amount of armor he has on him, plus the cape and the skirt and these overalls, I'm very, very 
glad he has the amount of articulation that he does currently. It's awesome. And if you want, you can put this in his hand, of course, and he will look absolutely awesome killing people. So yeah, but I'm actually curious, can I put the, oh yeah, that's the one thing I forgot to do. So once you remove this, there should be a way for you to clip this on the back or on his belt. So as you could see right there, there's a hook and a little groove there and sorry, I was looking through the viewfinder when I did that. Kind of have to work with it a little bit, but eventually you will uh, get it on and it's actually not staying on very well for me so but yeah you're pretty much gonna have him holding it though so I wish it held on a little bit better maybe if the hook was plastic rather than that pliable material you saw it was just bending that would have worked much better I'm actually not sure why they chose that that uh, pliable material that was very dumb of them so Final thoughts on this guy. Should you get it? Well, if you skipped out on every single other Darth Vader that came out in the past, then yeah. I would recommend picking this guy up because he's awesome. Probably one of the better Darth Vaders you're going to get on the market at the moment. Um, I would even go as so far to say that this is one of the more detailed Black Series figures. He is definitely on par with that AT-AT -AT driver, maybe even better, because I just find that maybe it's only me, but I think whoever sculpted this figure, designed it, painted it, clearly grew up in the 70s and the 80s, and so they put a lot of love into this figure because of the glossy finish, the lack of uh, paint leak, and just the overall application to this figure is really really nice they thought of basically everything this is pretty much your ultimate Darth Vader figure unless you're talking Hot Toys which is a completely different market and I'm not even gonna make the comparison because I paid twenty dollars for this and for twenty dollars this is awesome you get so much playability and he is definitely on par with high-end items so if you see this lying around in your target in your Walgreens, wherever you may see him. I definitely recommend you pick him up, considering that the box set he is included in currently, the one that I talked about earlier in the video, why would you take him out of the packaging? It's meant to stay in the packaging. So this is just a good opportunity to, uh, to get a Darth Vader loose. Not loose, but to take out of the packaging, not carded. So there you go with that. And then before I end this video, I would like to just as usual, highlight Action Figure Sanctuary. Go check us out on our Facebook page, as well as our YouTube channel where we host all of our live streams. But soon on our Facebook group page, we will be hosting live, um, live streams and podcasts. So definitely stay tuned for that. Also go check out the content creators of the Sanctuary, all of which are linked in the description below. And with that said, people, if you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, comment. Check out my site at sunspotreviews.com, and I'll see you guys in my next video.